you're looking for free movies to watch and don't feel like signing up to a pricey streaming service like Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and the many others whose costs can add up, we've got you covered. Coming up, I'll share with you 10 of the best websites where you can watch movies online for free. All mentioned also have mobile apps for iOS and Android, with most being available for streaming devices like the Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku, Nvidia Shield, and others. Let's get started. First up, in no particular order, from the makers of the popular Roku streaming devices is the Roku Channel. Even if you don't own a Roku device, you can access this in your favorite web browser, and they also have apps for iOS, Android, Fire TV, and others. Positives would be that you do not need an account to stream any of their content. There's a good variety of movies, both new and old, added each week, and the number of ads compared to other movie sites is not too bad. One downside is that without a proper filtering system, it can be difficult finding what to watch with their movies, TV shows, live TV, and premium content from the likes of Paramount Plus, Showtime, and others all mixed in on the same page. But all in all, it's a good service. Freebie is from the folks over at Amazon. It was formerly known as IMDB TV. It features thousands of movies, along with TV shows, live channels, and original content not found elsewhere. In addition to their website, it can be accessed on just about any device. Their selection of movies is decent and includes newer movies released over the past few years. You'll need an account to stream the free V content. Creating an account is free. The number of advertisements is reasonable. For example, with this movie that's just over 90 minutes long, there's a total of six ad breaks. Tubi is a service that's been gaining popularity lately. Owned by the Fox Corporation, it features thousands of free movies with a good variety of newer titles. They boast that they have less ads than cable, and I can confirm that this is true. In addition to their website, apps are available on a number of devices, including smartphones, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Sony Smart TVs, and Samsung Smart TVs. No account is required to use Tubi. At the time of this recording, the first three movies in the John Wick franchise were available to stream. If you haven't seen them yet, I recommend you check them out. This will be a quick one. The premium streaming service Peacock offers thousands of hours of their movies and TV shows for free. Available for most devices, an account is required and you'll have to put up with ads while you binge their content. Crackle is perhaps the oldest service in this video. Founded in 2004, it was once part of Sony Pictures and is now owned by Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment. You don't need an account to begin streaming, but to add any films to your watch list, you will need to log in. While they do have a ton of content, you won't find many blockbusters on here, and the number of ads in our experience is more than similar services. On the positive side, they do have original films not available on other services, and they also make it easy to browse their catalog with movies and TV shows separated out, where you can then select a specific genre that's of interest to you. Popcorn Flicks is another service owned by Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment. It features more than 2,000 movies on their site and is available on the web with apps for most devices. Just like Crackle, Popcorn Flicks has a higher than average number of ads and most of the content is from independent filmmakers. If you're looking for something out of the ordinary, I'd suggest you watch Two-Headed Shark Attack. It's so bad, it's good. Pluto TV is a service that's known for their live TV channels to access movies and shows with a guide that's similar to that of cable and satellite. It's available on their website and most devices. If you want to watch movies at your own pace, select On Demand here at the top, then select Movies here in the left sidebar. Over the years, their selection has improved quite a bit, the number of ads is average, and no sign-up is required. For those that have followed our channel over the years, you've heard me talk about Plex as a great tool to access your personal media library anywhere on any device. They've since expanded to offer a live TV service with more than 250 channels, and they now offer on-demand titles with more than 50,000 in their library. Plex doesn't have the latest and greatest movies here, but on the positive side, the ads are not too crazy, and you just might find a classic film or hidden gem you might have missed. Here on YouTube, where you're probably watching this video right now, in addition to the useful and sometimes useless videos from content creators, they do have an extensive library of movies and shows that you can watch for free. To access the library, select Movies and Shows in the left pane. To 
You just see the free stuff? Select free with ads. The content available might not blow you away, but at least it's free with the typical number of ads. And for YouTube Premium members, the ads are removed. Before moving on to the ad-free services, the last of the ad-supported movie sites is Vudu. It was once owned by Walmart. They failed terribly and sold it off to Fandango. It's available on just about any device with films you can buy, rent, or watch for free. You just see the free stuff. Here at the top, click on free. It's nice that they're sorted into categories with more than 5,000 titles to choose from, and they're not too aggressive with the ads. There's some great movies on here, and it's a great place to find hidden gems. They'll give you the option to rent or buy. If you don't want to pay, just make sure that you click watch free below the thumbnail. Canopy is different from those already mentioned. It gives you access to thousands of films for free without the ads. It just requires that you have either a library card or if you're with a university that you provide your student or professor login. They offer a very large collection and are heavily focused on classic and independent films. Hoopla is very similar to Canopy in that you need a library card from a participating library. It lets you borrow movies, TV shows, eBooks, music, and much more to enjoy wherever you consume content. Hoopla, when compared with Canopy, features more mainstream films. Their selection changes periodically. Some are only available for a limited time. Thanks for watching. Links to the sites mentioned are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What websites or apps do you use to watch free movies? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell to not miss out on our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff right here on Tech Combo.